There we go. Uh, interesting Marie is technically awake. Uh, you are asleep, technically. I guess maybe you're sleepwalking, uh, Mareep? Uh, I suppose I could rush back to the Pokemon Center. Actually, do I have an awakening with me? I don't. Wait, I got a berry, didn't I? But I don't think... No, 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 I don't have any of that. We'll waken it up. You know what? That's fine. Whoa, you made me lose that fish. Oh, sorry. It was probably just a magic carp anyway. You didn't have to worry. See? Magic carp. Oh, actually... If you just have magic off, I'll, I'll just wait for I'll just wait for Marie to wake up. Yeah, you're just gonna use splash. Yeah, the totally useless splash. Yeah, Marie is asleep, but that's fine. Let's just uh, carry on using uh, tackle. And hopefully, yay, Marie woke up. Nice. Yeah, just keep splashing, although. Uh, battling a whole bunch of Magikarp is not going to be fun because they don't really give that much experience points. But, you know, got to uh, deal with it. Oh, now you deliver the critical hit. Could have done with that a bit sooner, Marie, but, um, you know, whatever. Hmm. No, a magic carp, keep battling. I'm just having a quick drink. Ah, level 15. I think the level 15s can learn. Like. Tackle? Yeah, they do. Oh, no, 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 no. This is going to take too long. Alright, screw it. Uh, Quillover, can you come out, please? Ah. Shut up. Ugh. Bloody Magikarp, they're weak, but they're annoying, and they deliver very little experience points, so it's hardly worth it. In fact, yeah. Look at that. Even a quick attack didn't do that much damage. You just gonna, you just keep using Splash. Uh, you do realise you know Tackle, and you used it on your very first move, and now you're just commanding your Magikarp to do useless uh, Splash. Man! This fisherman is uh, a little bit of an idiot, to say the least. Almost as much of an idiot as me when it comes to, uh, like, recording settings sometimes. <laughs> oh, Mareep learned Thundershock. Okay, that's actually changed my mind. All right, now you actually know a decent move. Okay, so you know what? Switch Pokemon. Let's switch Pokemon to Mareep. Bring Mareep back out. Because now you actually have a move that can easily take care of these damn magic up. Oh, but it's level 5, so you know what? Have a bit of a thunder shot. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> Hardly any experience points, though, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is so much better. Uh, thunder shock. Ooh, that magic off is actually a little bit faster than my Marie. Well, you know what? You're just delaying the inevitable. So, um, sorry to zap you like that, magic off, but um, a critical hit. Wow, a little bit overboard against a poor little magic off, Marie. But uh, I, um, I admire your enthusiasm for uh, knocking it out with as much power as possible. <laughs> anyway, so you know what? Let's do a little bit of fishing while we're here before we head to uh, the cave. Yeah, yeah, landed a Pokemon. Hmm, I wonder what Pokemon it's going to be. E yes, Magic Carpet, a level 10 Magic Carpet, that as well. Yeah, I might be able to get away with using Thunder Shock. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> okay, I was totally wrong there. Uh, Okay, so uh, a Thunder Shock is uh, overpowering. Right, okay. Looks like we're just going to have to rely on Tackle. Not even a nibble. Boo. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Man, why are the Pokemon not nibbling? What's the deal here, Barry? <laughs> Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> 
Okay, now the Pokemon are not nibbling. Ah, boo. Come on, nibble. Okay, are you serious? <laughs> what the hell, game? <laughs> the first time I cast my rod, I actually managed to get a nibble. Now I'm not getting anything. Is this a joke? Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, um, for some reason the Pokemon are not biting anymore. Jeez. Are they afraid of my Magikarp? Not even a nibble. Well, jeez, fine, okay. We'll try once more. We'll try once more again. <laughs> I'm determined to catch a Pokemon, damn it. Okay, are you trolling me now, game? <laughs> oh my god, really? Why am I not getting any bites all of a sudden? Oh, finally! Jeez! Blimey, Magikarp, you don't, it's, it's as if you don't want to be captured. Okay, well, fine. Right, so level 10, fun, like, Thundershock on a level 10 Magikarp is overkill, so I guess we'll, we'll have to... Uh, have to uh, rely on tackle, unfortunately. Oh boy. I mean, I could possibly just use a, a, a Pokeball now. I mean, it's just a magic up. But, eh, uh, whatever. Might as well make it weaker anyway. I mean, I do have some lure balls, but I'm going to save it for some. No offense, magic up, but I'm going to use them on some proper water type Pokemon when I go fishing. I'm just going to use my um, Pokeballs. That's right, you keep on splashing. Splash all day long. Actually, I should try and capture it now just in case Marie decides to suddenly use a critical hit move. <laughs> oh man. I don't want to get screwed over with critical hits like I have at times with my Pokemon XD Let's Play. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, Magikarp's court, let's read its Pokedex data. Magikarp, the fish Pokemon. For no reason, it jumps and splashes about, making it easy for predators like Pidgeotto to catch it mid-jump. Poor Magikarp. But hey, you know what? You may be weak now, but eventually you'll become the big, fierce Pokemon everyone knows about. And actually, I'm kind of thinking about bringing it along with me. Ooh, I'm kind of thinking of bringing it along with me. But first, let's just heal our Pokemon. There we go. Do a little bit of healing. There we go. And let's just go into the computer. And move some Pokemon. Let's have a look at the party Pokemon. So we got, yeah, you know what, I'm probably not going to bother with uh, Weedle. So you know what, Weedle, time to say goodbye. We're going to bring Magikarp with you just simply for the fact that I'm going to train you up and uh, evolve you into a Gyarados. Ooh, you're a, a sassy Magikarp, okay. <laughs> sassy Magikarp, eh? <laughs> right, uh, alright, time for uh, an egg check. Uh, let's have a look at the egg. Ooh, sounds can be heard coming from inside. It will hatch soon. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, wrong one. Uh, highly curious. Okay, good to know. Right. Uh, let's switch you. Let's do a bit of training. Although, hmm. Yeah, you know what? We'll do a bit of training with Magikarp. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That is, um... <laughs> It's focusing your attention on me. Well, it looks like it hasn't got anything else to focus on. <laughs> the poor thing. Uh, oh yeah, I've already spoken to these people, haven't I? Come on, Magikarp. Splash splash behind me. And of course we've still got some more Pokemon trainers to battle. That badge is for Valor City. Yes, I did beat Faulkner. With uh, ease. Ah, you're a bird keeper. Okay, you're a bird keeper. Well... Unfortunately for you, I actually do now have a uh, electric Pokemon with me, so um, 
this is going to be uh, so easy. I mean, obviously, I could have made my gym battle even easier if I bothered to actually uh, co capture a Reap before we did a gym battle. But you know what? It was still very easy. So, not too worried. Anyway, uh, you're going to send out Pidgey. Let's switch back out. Bring Magikarp back out. Oh, wow, yeah. I forgot how slowly it actually uh, get experience points. Uh, may not have been a good idea. Okay. Uh, we'll wait until we get the experience here. I said I can't remember where I can get it. Let just very quickly have a look on my phone here. While we're waiting for this. Uh, yep, super effective. Yeah. I f as much as I want to train Magikarp, I think we might as well just wait until uh, we get the experience share. Yeah. So let's just focus on knocking out Spearow here and also training some other... Uh, train some other Pokemon. Yeah. Ooh, nice. And you leveled up. Let's see. Uh Ah, okay. What gold soul silver? Route 30 from Mr. Pokemon Exchange for a red scale or Golden Rod Radio Tower? Pokemon Lottery Corner. Okay. Right, so look for a red scale. Ah, okay. Interesting way of uh, having a look. Anyway, uh, is there any other Pokemon trainer? Nope, but there is a rock here that we can smash. So, yeah, we still got my uh, rock smashing Rattata with me. That's the only reason I still have Rattata with me. And we have a Shell Bell. Ooh. I think I remember what that does. Uh, what am I looking for? A Shell Bell. Yes, okay. Every time it inflicts damage, yes. Uh, let's give that to... Let's give that to... Let's give that to Mareep. And speaking of Mareep, let's... No, actually, no. I was going to say, let's train Mareep. Well, actually... Uh, Quillava and Pidgey are going to be my main, the main Pokemon that I'm going to be uh, using in Azalea Town. So let's focus on training uh, Pidgey and a bit more of uh, Quillava as well. That's probably going to be the best thing to do. Anyway, let's go into this cave. Ooh, big old rock here. I wonder if there are any items hidden around here. Let's see. Any items hiding around here? Uh, you're in the way, Pidgey. <laughs> There's probably no item there. Anyway, just a Zubat, nothing special, although uh, I suppose I might capture one. Ooh, okay. Yeah, enjoy that one hit point, uh, Zubat. Anyway, let's use a uh, Pokeball. I mean, it's only a level 5 Zubat that should be enough to capture it, and indeed it is! Zubat was cute! Let's have a look at uh, your Pokedex data! Zubat, the Bat Pokemon! Capable of flying safely in dark places, it emits ultrasonic cries to check for any obstacles. There we go. Give a nickname? Nope! Alright. Good job, Pidgey. I see an item up there. Oh boy. And also a load of uh, Pokemon encounters, of course. Yeah, a load of Zubat. I suppose I could just train Mareep, seeing as obviously uh, we can have a load of Zubat. Uh, it would make easy work. But no. We'll train Pidgey up. Gotta get, gotta get you into a tip top shape, Pidgey, as well as Quilava, before our gym battle in Azalea Town. I see an item, but first, yet another Pokemon! Ah, we've got some more... It's not just bats in here, we've also got rats. Rats and bats. Wow, you actually managed to survive that? 
Jeez, Ratata. Alright, fine. Uh, quick attack. And once again, critical hit right at the end there, which is completely unnecessary, Pidgey, but uh, whatever. Oh, there is someone up there. X attack. There is someone up there. Well, might as well have a little chat to you. If there's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, a Pokemon aren't scary. Ooh, a fire breather. You're a fire starter, eh? Anyway, a level 9 of Vulpix. Okay. Should be a pretty decent uh, training if uh, we can knock it out. Yeah, if you're just going to carry on using, like, Tail Whip, this should be very easy for me. So, carry on using Gust Pidgey. Actually, I should have a quick look at your stats just to see whether um, it would be better for me to... Uh, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Again with a critical hit at the end there, where we know that it was going to be an, a guaranteed knockout anyway. Come on, Bidgey. I wanted, I wanted to see you do the critical um, hits, like, early in the battle. Not at the end, but, well, whatever. At least it, it ends in a guaranteed knockout anyway. Ah, Union Cave on the lower floor. Oh, yeah, it's... Isn't this where you can find Lapras? Pretty sure you can. Anyway, we've got a Geodude here. Uh, let's see. Don't really have any Pokemon that's going to be strong against her, actually, which is kind of uh, embarrassing. I mean, I do have a Bell Sprout in the computer, in the Pokemon computer, but I don't have any Pokemon that have any strong, uh, super effective moves, apart from Rattata. But it's only level three. So um, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to. Uh, Slowly wear down a geodude while it uh, polishes its rock. Whatever that means. <laughs> there we go. Thankfully, Quillarvis uh, at a nice high level. So even a, a not a non-effective move is still going to be pretty good. Right, uh, hey, Rock Tomb. Okay, Rock Tomb. Let's have a little wander around here. I'm sure this is where you can find Lapras. Maybe on a lower... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you have to use Surf to get to further parts of uh, the cave, don't you? Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, I'll have to be I had to come back to this general area later on. Anyway, when we uh, revisit the ruins of Alf once we've learned Surf, so we'll do the same for here. But i got to say... It... Already, this game is bringing back an awful lot of memories. Both from, like, the first time I played Soul Server and also the time where I played the original uh, Gold and Silver games. Yeah, actually, when, when Gold and Silver were first released, I actually had both games. <laughs> I got both games for, uh, for a birthday one year. And, yeah, I think it's because my parents didn't know what to get me, so they ended up buying me both games. So, uh, <laughs> that was kind of, kind of cool. And of course, I've played through both of them. <laughs> and I seem to remember putting in a ton of hours into the game. Ah, uh, good times back then. And, and you know what, just thinking about it, the original release of Gold and Silver, I'd, it, it, back then, it was definitely a big change to the Pokemon games, even though it's obviously like just the second in the main series games after Red, Blue and also Yellow. The fact that you have like a new region, plus the option to eventually travel back to, uh, the, to the Kanto region once you've uh, finished uh, through Johto, plus the introduction of a day and night cycle, days of the week, time, it's like... It's just amazing when you think about it, between the very first Pokemon games and then Gold and Silver, just how many things have been added, like, changed to real, like, added to the game that have really changed the Pokemon experience back in, like, the late 90s, early 2000s. Man, I, that's, that is probably one of the reasons why I think Pokemon Gold and Silver and Heart Gold and Heart Silver, I consider it to be one of my favourite games of all time. 
because, especially the originals when you think about it, because they changed so much in the Pokemon games back then. I mean, obviously the remakes, I mean, we've seen it all before, so it's not that much of, like, well, I, I was going to say an evolution, but really like a revolution when you could as well. But, um, yeah, this is still one of my favourite games ever, and I don't know why I haven't, I don't know why it's been so long since I've last played these games, but you know what, I wanted to uh, play through it again, so I thought, might as well play through this uh, game as a Let's Play. And as I said, this was originally just going to be a backup Let's Play while Guardian Size is on a break, but I think even when Guardian Size does come back, uh, this will be, uh, I'll be uh, playing, uh, I'll continue to play through uh, Soul Silver, hopefully, uh, every week. Especially if I stick to my usual like recording method of recording several episodes worth of content in each recording setting. Yeah, that's how I do my recordings. Usually I record like an hour or two of a game at a time and then split them up into multiple episodes because sometimes I don't always have a huge amount of free time in real life to uh, record like all the time. So whenever possible, if I don't have anything else to do, I always like to try and record like a load of videos in advance just, just so I have uh, content going online on my channel every week. And while at times I could upload more videos at a time, I, I just don't like the idea of suddenly running out of videos and not being able to upload a video for like a week or so. So, although I am recording a load of videos now, I do like to keep a few like spare just in case things get a little bit busy in real life. I'm not able to record and I can uh, upload them and just keep uh, the content like going even if it's not as regular as it can be like I always like to have enough content to upload like every, for every couple of days because I don't like to go like a long time without uploading anything so that's why I uh, typically like to record videos like bulk record videos at once yeah it's not very effective but that's fine because you're only level 4 and actually, Pidgey's getting pretty close to leveling up, which is pretty sweet. Nice, there we go. Knock out that Geodude. Ooh, close. All right, uh, keep battling for now. Let's see what level this Geodude is. Level 8, okay. Might be able to uh, work around that. Let's just see how much that does. Okay, I actually did quite a decent amount of damage. Anyway, you're going to polish your rock again. That's fine. Right, carry on using the gust attack. <laughs> and now you're also using defense girl. Again, that's fine. I'll just carry on using gust while you're pointlessly uh, boosting your own stats because it certainly didn't save you. Poor Geo, dude. <laughs> And that's going to be enough to level up Pidgey. Nice. Level 15. And another Geodude. Let's keep battling. Let's see what level this one is. Oh, level 6. So actually, you just brought out your strongest Geodude, so before. Okay, well, that's fine. Woohoo! Wow. Nice. May not be uh, that effective, but it still did a decent amount of damage, which I very much approve of. And there we go. One more Geodude knocked out. Time for me to take a quick drink. Hmm. Nice few experience points. Alright. Nicely done. 